and go. Now, what are we doing, Daryl? Okay, so here's what we're doing. We're doing a new type of mixing. So back in the day, back in the day, what we're doing here is we're, it's called spatial mixing. So we have the ability to put sounds left, right, front, back, up, or down. So imagine being inside of an egg. We can put sounds anywhere inside that spherical uh, space. Most mixing is done in stereo, which is just left and right. That's it. So what's the history really fast? 1877, that douchebag Thomas Edison created, <laughs> created uh, one of the first recorders, right? And mm -hmm. it had one horn, like a tuba horn. Mm -hmm. And you heard sound coming out of that. That was called mono. Sound came out of one hole. 1930, a guy named Alan Blumline was in a movie theater and he saw an uh, actress on the screen walk from one side of the stage to the other, but the sound stayed in the middle. Mm -hmm. So he said, wow, what if we put one speaker on the left side of the screen, one speaker on the right side of the screen, so when the, the character in the movie walks, the sound would follow her, and it would, we would, be, it would be more realistic. Mm -hmm. That was a novel idea. So stereo was birthed, being able to put sounds left and right. So, but people didn't pick up on it right in 1930. In the 40s and 50s, though, people started saying, huh, what's this new knob? Left, right. So where should we put the vocals? I don't know, stick it out the left side. Where should we put the drums? I don't know, stick it out the right side. So people were playing around with this ability to put sounds left and right. So that's why if you hear you know, in a restaurant, you'll hear some old jazz, you'll hear like the, the horns coming out just on one side and you'll hear across the restaurant, you'll hear the drums. People were just messing around with left and right. But some defining mixes happened like Pink Floyd and Jimi Hendrix and the Beatles that really defined how to use left, right. Therefore, we had all these groundbreaking records in the 60s and 70s. Mm -hmm. In the 80s, the record companies consolidated, so stereo mixing became very symmetrical and very uniform. Mm -hmm. Vocal in the middle, drums in the middle, backgrounds wide. So the, 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 the format of stereo, left and right, was birthed in 1930, and here it is, 2023, it's 90 years old. Wow. But now, so we're going from mono, I'm almost done, to stereo. Now we're going to spherical, which wow. is called spatial, or 3D audio. So instead of just left and right, we can put sounds left, right, front, back, up, and down. So if you put on headphones, you're going to hear your uh, music mixing going all over your head as opposed to just left and right. So, Kathy, you're on the cutting edge because you're doing a spatial mix. Apple Music, Tidal, all these streaming platforms are embracing producers and artists that submit spatial mixes because they want to give the, the consumer a new, a new, uh, a new experience.